Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek, keeping you in the fast track with daily EV and green energy news. I'm Mikey G, and do you remember the 21st night of September? It's Monday, September 21st. Cool joke. Anyways, Electrek looks into the hype for Battery Day, which is happening tomorrow. Investors have poured in early, looking to get in on the stock price before an expected rise, with anticipated valuable announcements coming soon. CEO Elon Musk is not one to shy away from superlatives, and he has described the Tesla plans at at Battery Day as mind-blowing, insane, and even very insane. Officially, all Tesla said about Battery Day is that the automaker will explain its plan to secure a massive supply of battery cells to to support its ambitious expansion plans. Everything points to Tesla releasing battery cells with higher energy density, lower cost, and better longevity. At Electrek, we expect more information on other subjects as well, including the Model S Plaid Edition, larger casting machines, and possible updates on the Tesla Semi and the updated Roadster. If you'd like to join in the speculation, you can leave a comment below or on our site, electrek.co. Tesla is reportedly in talks to build a research and development center in India, a market that Tesla has had difficulties entering in the past. A new report came out stating that Tesla has had talks with the Karnataka government in India to establish the research center. The India Times reported, quote, Tesla held exploratory discussions with Karnataka government officials on September 10th, who are seeking a possible investment by the world's most valuable car maker in a research facility in Bengaluru, people familiar with the development told ET. A follow-up meeting is expected later this month, they said, during which the state officials are expected to present a detailed proposal to the Tesla executives. By the way, if you're curious, Tesla has had a hard time entering the market because primarily the Indian market is looking for a cheaper EV, of which Tesla doesn't have one quite yet. Tesla plans to offer machine learning training as a web service with its new Dojo supercomputer, according to comments from Elon Musk. Project Dojo was first announced by Musk at Tesla's Autonomy Day last year, who said it's, quote, a super powerful training computer. The goal of Dojo will be to be able to take in vast amounts of data and train at a video level and do unsupervised massive training of vast amounts of video with the Dojo program. Now, last night in a series of tweets, Musk confirmed that Tesla plans to open the supercomputer to the public as a web service to train machine learning models. There's currently no clear timeline for Tesla to have Dojo up and running, but Musk indicated that it could be next year, and there was actually a recruiting effort for the program last month. Tesla has what Elon Musk called a shot at a record quarter for vehicle deliveries. This is according to a leaked email that he sent to Tesla employees. The end of the quarter is approaching, and as usual, Tesla is in the middle of a rush of deliveries in order to improve its financials for the quarter. Musk added in the email, quote, Please consider vehicle deliveries to be the absolute top priority. It's also extremely important that we keep factory output as high as possible over the remaining 10 days. This is vital for the California market. By the way, Tesla's third quarter delivery estimate consensus from Wall Street analysts was 121,000 vehicles as of last week. Tesla is going to bring a new roadster to the famous Nürburgring racetrack next year, according to CEO Elon Musk, as the production timeline remains unclear. The delay in the Roadster trying to make its mark on the famously difficult racetrack comes after much uncertainty around the Roadster program in general. When it was first unveiled in 2017, Musk said that it will come to market in 2020. More recently, during the release of Tesla's second quarter earnings in July, Musk hinted at the Tesla Roadster production starting in California within 12 to 18 months. The new Tesla Roadster is expected to break quite a few records whenever it does hit the road, possibly even on the Nuremberg Ring track. The electric hypercar's base version can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds. And actually, a higher-end version equipped with something that's called the SpaceX package will consist of a few cold-air thrusters on the car. And no, (laughs) this is not a joke. They actually said that. Tesla is preparing to launch a new full self-driving monthly subscription. This is based on an update in its mobile app. A Redditor by the name of CallUmp01 was able to do some reverse engineering in Tesla's upgrade section of its mobile app to reveal the new subscribe section. While Tesla has had code to prepare for the new subscription model for a while, this update closer to the end of the year could indicate that Tesla is preparing to soon release the new way to access full self-driving software. 
This episode of Quick Charge is brought to you by Electrify America, the nation's largest coast-to-coast charging station network for electric vehicles. No matter where you're heading, they have chargers nearby. And at charging speeds of up to 350 kilowatts for capable electric vehicles, they'll help you get there fast. Find out what they're up to at electrifyamerica.com. That's electrifyamerica.com. Electrify America. Hello, freedom. Speaking of Electrify America, Volkswagen today announced that it reached a deal with Electrify America to provide ID4 electric SUV owners three years of unlimited charging on the network. Scott Kyo, the CEO of Volkswagen Group of America, commented on the announcement saying, quote, The ID4 was engineered, loaded, and priced to win the hearts of SUV owners who are simply ready to go electric and fall in love with Volkswagen again. By adding three years of fast charging at no additional cost through Electrify America, we are eliminating all barriers for mainstream compact SUV buyers to go electric. By the way, if you're curious, Electrify America currently has more than 470 charging stations and over 2,000 DC fast chargers in the U.S. And it will increase to approximately 800 total charging stations with about 3,500 DC fast chargers all by December of 2021. And hey, they make a pretty good podcast sponsor, huh? Nikola Motors founder and executive chairman Trevor Milton is out of the company after his deception has been exposed and the company is experiencing pressure. As we've been reporting over the last few weeks, Nikola is currently in hot water after a recent report from Hindenburg Research, which made several allegations exposing deception by Nikola and his founder Trevor Milton. This included some claims that were corroborated by previous reports from Electrek and Bloomberg. And now the company announced today that Milton is leaving the company effective immediately. Quote, Nikola Corporation today announced that Trevor Milton approached the board of directors and proposed to voluntarily step aside as executive chairman and from the board. The board accepted his proposal, and Stephen Gursky, former vice chairman of General Motors and a member of Nikola's board, has been appointed chairman of the board, effective immediately. As expected, Nikola is also reportedly facing probes from the SEC and DOJ regarding their pattern of deception that is coming to light. And in Electrek's Green Energy Brief, Airbus has revealed three concepts for the world's first emission-free commercial aircraft that could enter service by the year 2035. First, a turbofan design, about 120 to 200 passengers, with a range of 2,000-plus nautical miles, capable of operating transcontinentally and powered by a modified gas turbine engine running on hydrogen rather than jet fuel through combustion. Second, a turboprop design, up to 100 passengers, using a turboprop engine instead of a turbofan and also powered by hydrogen, capable of traveling more than 1,000 nautical miles. Lastly, a blended wing body design, up to 200 passengers. This is a concept in which the wings merge with the main body of the aircraft and a range similar to that of the turbofan. General Electric, one of the world's largest makers of coal-fired power plants, said today that it will stop making coal-fired power plants. The U.S. industrial conglomerate will shift its focus to green energy. General Electric said the exit from the coal business could include divestitures, site closures, and layoffs. And finally, in Electric's personal mobility coverage, a new electric kick scooter review was published on Electric's YouTube channel, this time for the Apollo Pro, a 2,000-watt, 38-mile-per-hour dual-suspension beast. For $2,049, this brings a new level of performance into the price category, normally compared with three dollars to $4,000 strong. The scooter is fast, torquey, comfortable, and fun. You can actually find a coupon code on the article page found on electrek.co. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. You can also find an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I will see you on the later.